Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Pro version of A Snapshots. When you start the A Snapshots Pro for the first time you will see this window. Here you can enter your license key and register the product. After the registration is successful you will be able to use the Pro functions of the tool. Let's explore these new Pro options. First I'll select this dummy object and then press save from other object button. With this button we can select any scene node and save a snapshot in the selected object. I can repeat this action and create a few more snapshots from different objects. If I want to select multiple objects at once, I can press this button, then press and hold the control key of the keyboard and start picking objects from the scene. To finish my selection, I can press the escape key or the right mouse button. Now when I have all these snapshots of different variants of this chair, I can use them for this dummy object. As we can see we are loading not only the base object but also the modifiers and the materials. We can choose what to load by enabling and disabling the load snapshot filters. For example I can disable the material and the modifier filter and load only the base object of my snapshot. I can load the low poly model of the chair. Or I can work with the mid poly model or the high poly model of the chair. But with the selected filters I'm not changing the modifiers or the material of the object. Also I can load just the modifiers of a snapshot, by leaving on, only the mod filter. In this example I can load the modifiers from the ultra or high poly model of the chair, or from the mid polygon model and keep the material. By loading only the material of a snapshot I'm not changing the other parameters of the object. As you can see, with these load filters applied, I can change just the material. To make our snapshots even more useful we can choose the information that we save by adjusting the save snapshot filters. For example I can save only the base object of my models by disabling the other two filters. And then pick some objects from the scene. Then I will save as a snapshot only the modifiers of my chair variants. In this example the modifiers are used to set UVW mapping of the objects, so I'll rename them correctly. Finally I will save just the materials that I want to use in my snapshots. This way, when I'm loading a snapshot, I don't have to worry what load filter options are selected and avoid mistakes. For example I can load a model of the chair, then combine it with any of the mapping modifiers, and apply any of the saved materials. In the Pro version I can load these snapshots to multiple selected objects. For example, I can load the chair low poly geometry. Then I can try a couple materials. And when I'm happy with the material, I can choose from different mapping options. I hope you like this video. See you soon with new products and updates from Avis Studio Tools.